The Mariner 1 mission was an ambitious attempt by NASA to send a spacecraft to Venus in 1962. The mission was intended to be the first ever to make a close flyby of another planet, and was designed to collect valuable scientific data about Venus and its environment. However, the Mariner 1 mission ultimately ended in failure due to a guidance system malfunction shortly after launch. In this article, we will explore the background of the mission, the details of the launch and malfunction, and the impact that the failure had on future space exploration efforts. The Mariner 1 mission was part of a larger effort by NASA to explore the planets of our solar system using robotic spacecraft. The mission was designed to study Venus from a distance of approximately 22,000 miles kilometers, and to gather data on the planet's atmosphere, magnetic field, and surface features. The spacecraft itself was a 550-pound vehicle, equipped with a suite of scientific instruments and powered by a combination of solar panels and a small nuclear reactor. The spacecraft was launched on August 27, 1962, from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard an Atlas Agena rocket. The launch of the Mariner 1 mission appeared to go smoothly at first. The rocket lifted off the launch pad without incident, and the spacecraft separated from the rocket's upper stage as planned. However, just 293 seconds into the flight, ground controllers noticed that the guidance system of the spacecraft had malfunctioned. The guidance system was responsible for ensuring that the spacecraft remained on course and followed its intended trajectory. In response to the malfunction, ground controllers attempted to correct the spacecraft's course by sending commands to its onboard computer. However, due to a software error, the computer misinterpreted the corrective commands and began steering the spacecraft in the wrong direction. As a result, ground controllers were forced to abort the mission by issuing a self-destruct command to the spacecraft. The rocket and its payload were destroyed over the Atlantic Ocean, and the mission was declared a failure. The failure of the Mariner 1 mission was a significant setback for NASA and for the United States space exploration program as a whole. The mission represented a major investment of time, money, and resources, and its failure was a disappointment for the scientific community and the American public. However, the failure also provided important lessons for NASA and other space agencies in the years that followed. The malfunction of the guidance system highlighted the importance of rigorous testing and quality control procedures in spacecraft design, and helped to spur improvements in the reliability and safety of space exploration technology. Additionally, the failure of the Mariner 1 mission led to a renewed focus on robotic exploration of other planets, as well as increased collaboration between different space agencies around the world. Today, missions to explore the planets of our solar system continue to be an important area of scientific research and exploration. The Mariner 1 mission was a bold and ambitious attempt by NASA to explore the planet Venus, and represented an important milestone in the history of space exploration. Although the mission ultimately ended in failure due to a guidance system malfunction, it provided valuable lessons for future space exploration efforts and helped to pave the way for the many successful missions that followed. The Mariner 1 mission was not only important for its scientific goals but also for its role in the Cold War space race. At the time, the United States was in competition with the Soviet Union to be the first to achieve a number of space exploration milestones, and the Mariner 1 mission was seen as an important step in demonstrating American technological prowess. The failure of the mission was therefore a blow to national pride and raised concerns about the ability of the United States to compete with the Soviet Union in the space race. However, the lessons learned from the failure ultimately helped to improve the quality and safety of American spacecraft, and played a role in the eventual success of the Apollo program and other important space exploration efforts. Despite the failure of the Mariner 1 mission, NASA remained committed to exploring Venus and other planets in our solar system. In fact, the agency launched a second Mariner mission to Venus just a few months after the failure of the first, and this mission was a resounding success. The Mariner 2 spacecraft became the first spacecraft to fly by another planet, and collected important data about the atmosphere and surface features of Venus. In the years that followed, NASA and other space agencies continued to send robotic spacecraft to explore other planets in our solar system, including Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and beyond. These missions have provided important insights into the history and nature of our solar system, and have helped to inspire generations of scientists and explorers. Overall, while the failure of the Mariner 1 mission was certainly a disappointment, it was also an important moment in the history of space exploration. The lessons learned from the mission helped to improve the quality and safety of spacecraft, and paved the way for many successful space exploration efforts in the years that followed. Today, as we continue to explore the mysteries of our solar system and beyond, 
we can look back on the Mariner 1 mission as a pivotal moment in the history of space exploration. In addition to the scientific and technological lessons learned from the Mariner 1 mission, the failure also had important political and social implications. The mission was part of a larger effort by the United States to demonstrate its technological and scientific prowess to the world, and the failure was seen as a setback to these efforts. At the same time, the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union was also tied up with larger geopolitical and ideological conflicts of the Cold War. The success or failure of space missions was seen as a reflection of the relative power and prestige of the two superpowers, and each failure was viewed as a victory for the other side. Despite the political and ideological stakes of the space race, however, the scientific and technological goals of the Mariner 1 mission remained at the forefront of NASA's efforts. The agency continued to refine its spacecraft and testing procedures in the years that followed, and ultimately achieved a number of important milestones in space exploration. Today, the legacy of the Mariner 1 mission lives on in the ongoing efforts to explore and understand the planets of our solar system and beyond. Advances in space technology and scientific knowledge have made it possible to send robotic spacecraft farther and faster than ever before, and to collect data and images of distant worlds that were once beyond our reach. At the same time, the failure of the Mariner 1 mission reminds us of the risks and challenges of space exploration, and underscores the importance of careful planning, testing, and quality control in all aspects of spacecraft design and operation. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration and expand our understanding of the universe, we can draw on the lessons of the Mariner 1 mission and other important milestones in the history of space exploration to guide our efforts and inspire future generations of explorers and scientists. The Mariner 1 mission had a lasting impact on the field of space exploration, both in terms of the lessons learned from its failure and the successes that followed. One important legacy of the mission was the development of more robust and reliable spacecraft designs, with improved testing procedures and quality control measures to prevent future failures. The Mariner missions to Venus and Mars that followed also contributed greatly to our understanding of these planets and their environments. The Mariner 2 mission to Venus in 1962 provided the first detailed measurements of the planet's atmosphere and temperature, while later missions to Mars, such as the Viking program in the 1970s, collected important data on the planet's geology and climate. In addition to advancing our scientific knowledge of the planets in our solar system, these missions also helped to pave the way for future human exploration of space. The data collected by these robotic spacecraft helped to identify potential landing sites and other areas of scientific interest, and provided valuable information for the development of human exploration programs such as the Apollo program in the International Space Station. Today, NASA and other space agencies continue to build on the legacy of the Mariner missions and other important milestones in space exploration. Advances in spacecraft design and propulsion systems, as well as new technologies such as robotics and artificial intelligence, are expanding the scope and scale of space exploration, and providing new opportunities for scientific discovery and human exploration. At the same time, the lessons learned from the Mariner 1 mission and other failures continue to guide the development of spacecraft and the planning of space missions, helping to ensure the safety and success of future space exploration efforts. In conclusion, the Mariner 1 mission may have been a disappointment at the time, but it ultimately played an important role in advancing the field of space exploration. The lessons learned from its failure helped to improve the quality and safety of spacecraft, while the successes of subsequent missions help to expand our scientific knowledge of the planets in our solar system and pave the way for future human exploration of space. Today, as we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, we can look back on the Mariner 1 mission as a crucial moment in the history of space exploration.